This is where we keep our dry storage products and the silos back here. We have our cement silo, fly ash silo, and the silo in the far back is our recycle silo. To the far left, we got our bag house. And what the bag house does is it basically vacuums all the sawdust that's created from the sawmill. We're able to collect all that and pump it back into the recycle bin. From there, all the dry products all gather into this small pod and after it reaches a certain poundage, it'll get pumped back into the batching area and that's where we start our batching process. So we're in the batching office. We got our dry product outside. We got our cement and fly ash and recycle. All that is, is transferred and calculated in here in the batching office. So we're able to select the class of mixture we want to we want to mix. Once that's determined and selected, all the information is transferred over here to the PLC, and that's where we're able to oversee the whole mixing process. And also, we're able to control our mold conveyor from here as it gets poured from the chute and into the mold. We're able to control all the mole settings from here. So after all the dry mix goes into the pod, this polypropylene also adds into the mixing tank. We also add these activators into the mix and when it's poured out it has a reaction towards the cement and the fly ash and after it's poured that's how it rises. After all the additives get mixed in the mixing tank for several minutes, the butterfly valve on the bottom will open. All the ingredients will pour into these molds here. And these molds are 26 inches high, four feet wide, and 24 feet long. After we pour into the mole, we'll take the mole and we'll bring it over here to the curing room where it'll cure for 24 to 48 hours. And after the curing process, we'll take that cured mole and we'll bring it over into this area right here. And this area right here is called the demold area. And the chain conveyors will get the mold and move it into position over here. And, and uh, we'll start demolding the mold. So now that we'll take the impact wrenches and we'll undo four bolts from each side We'll hook on the crane, we'll demold the loaf, we'll take off the sides. Once that's taken off, we'll take the loaf and the base, 
the conveyor will move it over to the pusher. The pusher will push off just the loaf only onto the rollers and then on down to the turntable. When it gets to the turntable, the table will turn. Line up with these rollers over here and then we'll start the, the sawmill process. This is where we start the sawmill process. This is our rip gang saw here. The loaf gets pushed through the rip gang saw and it gets cut up at the same time. We have a set of saw blades up here and a set of saw blades on the lower section. And these are our saw blades that, that we use to cut up the loaf, 26 inches. Once the mold comes through the rip gang saw, it comes out eight inch panels, move all the way to the end, the transfer conveyor We'll push it to the tilt arm. The tilt arm will then tilt each individual panel onto the roller and then move on down the process. Yeah, after we cut up the panels in 20 foot lengths, it'll come through, and this is our chop saw, it'll come through and get cut into eight foot sections. Eight foot section will come on down to our cross cut and this is where we core our blocks for the vertical reinforcing. Also, this is where we cut our blocks, the width of our block. We produce a six inch, eight inch, 10 inch, 12 inch wide block, depending on the wall thickness. After we cut, it'll transfer on down to the palletizing area. After the blocks get cut from the cross cut, the blocks get fed into this machine, which is our cuber, which basically palletizes all the block and stacks it for us. What Ron is doing right here is taking out the blocks with minor cracks, minor defects in there. We take those out. Once the cuber finishes stacking all the blocks, the pellet gets pushed out here, and then we pick it up, stage it over in the packaging area where it gets shrink wrapped. So what we've done is we've taken a couple of blocks from our previous loaf and what we're going to do is cut three sample blocks, four inch cube, take those into our lab room and then we're going to have it tested uh, for quality control. After we cut our sample blocks, we'll place it in this oven, which dries the block to a specified moisture content. After we reach that moisture content, we'll take the block and we'll set it on the scale, and this is where we calculate our density. Okay, this is our compression machine, which we use to test the compression strength of each block.
Ella no, no, no.